to everybody who has joined, is joining. We unfortunately can't see your faces, but we thank you so very much for coming to join us today. Um, time and attention are a very precious thing, and we're grateful for yours. And in exchange for the precious gift you're giving us, um, we have poured our hearts, our brains, our entire beings into this experience that you are about to see. Um, we've had a lot of fun and we're very excited to get to this point, aren't we, Saeed? Um, yes, we, you are excited. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, excited. I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> so, so, Slightly. Uh, <laughs> I have no fear. This is going to be a really fun session because... Yes, it is. It is. That is the way we've designed it. We, um, we have made something uh, that we, we hope very much is going to delight you, first and foremost. Um, it's going to inspire you. It's going to educate you without being educational. And um, most of all, we just hope it's something that you're going to get a lot of fun from. Um, and we're, we're, we're quietly confident that that will be the case. Um, we're slightly unconventional, but we're going to follow some conventions and we're going to introduce ourselves first and then we will be soon be getting on to the games. Um, this guy over here, this, uh, if you don't know him already, this is Saeed Sadiq. He is the facilitator, um, which is an exceptionally appropriate name for somebody who facilitates and entertains at the same time. Um, for those of you who follow his content online, mostly LinkedIn and YouTube, you will know that Saeed is... <laughs> every day, uh, putting content, really valuable content out there that's educating on how we can improve our virtual experiences, whether that's using different tools to enhance our uh, online teams, uh, making magical mural boards. There are uh, tips and tricks galore inside of Sides content. And if you don't follow him already, I would highly recommend you do because he does quite often put on sessions that are amazing because within one hour, he will show you how to build real tangible templates like games or icebreakers inside of mural without needing to be a designer. And you have something that looks really good and is very fun to play with with your team. So please give Saeed a follow. Uh, from myself, I am Lucy Agalini. I am a visual experience designer. I take my background in UX and UI design and I apply it to interactive mural boards. Um, there is nothing I get more passionate about than making beautiful things that work really well in the online space. I want to create spaces for us all to work where when we come in, the work doesn't really feel like work because everything is novel and playful. They're my favorites, but I also just in general like making things look really nice from a design perspective and functional in terms of how you digest them. So this is this is my jam. And together, our jam is these sorts of projects. This is the first one we've worked on together. And uh, we have found that we have many things in common. Uh, the first one, though, would be we think work should be fun. And the second one is we think collaboration should be visual. Uh, we agreed that neither one of us could have made what we're about to show you without the other one. And I think that makes it really special. We are both the kind of keys to our own escape room, so to speak. Uh, we are almost ready to get to the games, but I do need to tell you what you should expect. So you can expect that you will be inspired. We're going to expand your horizons of what you thought was possible in Miro and then bend them a little bit. We are going to inform you. We wanna show you how learning through playing and exploring makes the experience a lot more um, engaging and memorable. And we wanna show you how visual experiences alongside other tips and tricks and ways of creating an environment um, can be matched and paired with uh, uh, the features of Miro. In a normal uh, setting, you would have uh, of an escape room, you would have multiple people in a room solving puzzles together, true collaboration style. And that is kind of the end goal for a project like this. This in its first instance is an experiment. It's something we made for the purposes of demonstration. So we don't have it where everybody is doing it together because we want to talk you through how we made it. Um, but we do have two very wonderful volunteers who Saeed is going to introduce you to in a moment. And we are going to watch them play the games. Though do not mistake that 
that for being boring passive watching. We have uh, got lots of tips and tricks in store for you to keep this a really exciting and fun experience. So that's it for me before I go into the back office of the escape room. I am going to hand it over to my dear friend Saeed, uh, who is going to take you on the adventure through our escape rooms. So enjoy. See you on the other side. Thanks, Saeed. Thanks a lot. Um, at least I will try. Um, my plan for today is I want to have as much fun as possible myself. And if anybody wants to join me having fun, feel free. Um, we, we would like just before we jump in uh, to the actual game and uh, the storyline, we would just like to start with our first um, question for the audience. Um, please just use the chat. We are wondering if you ever played an escape game. Um, or just out uh, are here just out of curiosity, or, or if you played an escape game in a f uh, in person or maybe virtual, just share with us in the chat. We will also go through the uh, all the remarks in the chat and come to them, come back to them later. Um, I will, if I say I will tell a little story, it would be. Too much of a promise, but <laughs> I, I, I will do my best and I will practice my storytelling skills live with you. So our little story starts like uh, this. We are in a, let's say, Zoom call, just as we are uh, in the moment with um, people who we collaborate with on the mirror board. And of course, we have our two buddies, um, Daniel Wirtz and Annie McLeod. Um, who also have a, their sessions in distributed. Look them up if you haven't um, watched them yet. Um, and out of a sudden, the facilitator says the three best words a man or woman can hear, and it's not I love you, it's uh, <laughs> break out room. So, and of course, da Daniel and Annie are, f uh, are excited whenever they hear break out room, they want to jump directly into it. So they move on and, oh, I've, I, I forgot the sound effects, but here they are. So, so I, I told you I'm, I'm practicing. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and they decided to just click simultaneously on the enter the break out room button. OK, and let's move on. But this was what happened after this is not jumping into a breakout room as they are used to it. So weird things happened, and it will be not what they expected. Okay. Um, sorry for the time traveling, um, but <laughs> here we are back in our breakout hotel. So it's not a room, it's a whole hotel. And um, just, just uh, for, for the audience, this is the full experience. Of course, you cannot see the details, but if you stay until the end, you will experience every little detail of it, I promise. And uh, somebody, um, welcome to, uh, takes a second, welcome to the breakout hotel, where we are again, Lucy and me, very creepy, waiting for our two <laughs> participants to join. Somebody told me, and I think maybe this, this is a great analogy, um, what you will experience is if you ever watched um, eSports on TV, for example, where you can just see the two players um, trying to uh, not kill each other, uh, mostly they try to kill each other, but uh, to try to, to play games against each other. This one will be harmless, no blood will be shed, but um, any is gone. Said, you said yeah. I'm okay to interrupt you whenever yeah, I sure. need to, the timekeeper is throwing their hand up saying we need to move along. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we lost we lost any screen for some reason, but um, it's no no problem. Um, we, we, we just have our both players on screen so that you can follow them from behind their shoulders. And here they are reading through the instructions of what they uh, will expect in this game. And when we run through the hallway, you will see we have our two players. And when did we lost any? Could you please check? And um, check. if, oh, there she is again. Okay, She's think, back. back. And one and when they when they click on on the links to according to their name they will be teleported to the first room of our escape game i will just follow daniel daniel follow me 
we will meet in the first room. I can see, you can see them at the bottom somewhere. You can see any, and you can see Daniel's screen like this while they are playing live with us. Okay. Um, in this, in this, timer. sorry. Yeah. In, um, in this first room, they just have to solve a few riddles to get a code to escape this room, decode the candy letters and place them where they belong to open the door. This is your sign, um, Daniel and Annie, you can. S Let's go, Daniel says. Great. And we will just focus on Daniel for a second. So we are watching Daniel's screen live so we can see every mouse move he does and um, all the context menus in Miro, which is normally not the case if you are just watching a normal screen sharing. And to any, I think you are sharing your the Zoom call and not the Miro board. Just saying, but it's fine for the moment. Thanks. And I can see, okay. Um, just in case you're wondering, of course, we invited um, two of our friends, but they have no idea how the riddles work. We did not tell them uh, what the outcome is or how they have to solve them. Of course, they know it's a, it's a, it's a, a game where they have to solve riddles, but everything they, they see and they try to solve is new to them. And if there are any, uh, any questions, any remarks, um, please put them in the chat here, here, or here. I don't know where it is. You, you will find it. There's somewhere in chat. Just um, share your messages with us. I, okay, Daniel has... Okay, Daniel thinks he's getting it. And we can switch to any. Any is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also totally fine. It is. It's not a contest. It is actually a collaboration. We will see in um, in a few minutes um, how the collaboration part of this game looks like. Okay, they all find the. I never know how they are called. The ice balls. And I will just zoom out a little bit so that we can watch them both simultaneously oh daniel got it even if you uh we have we set up a timer even if you cannot finish the game in before the timer runs out don't worry um the last part of the instructions is and place them where they belong daniel please follow the instructions we put a lot of effort into them <laughs> and we can okay i think daniel is up to something Any tries rotating. You are on a good path, Any. Okay, time time is up. Of course, you can finish the rooms while I I will put you away. You can of course uh, finish the rooms while um, uh, I am speaking. But Daniel nearly got it in three minutes. There it is, and the final code for this room is fun. The last step, Daniel, would be to actually resize uh, them that they have the same size as the uh, the gray balls in the background. And then we have the word fun on it. What you can see here, just quick, um, and um, Lucy will tell me when I need to shut up and move forward. Um, the features we were used here is just opacity. So there are three layers on each of the ice cones. And if you put them on top of each other, they will reveal a letter, in this case, it's F, U, and N. And we also learn about sizing things and rotating things, if you if you like to. So especially if you are new to Miro, um, just exploring by moving things around and um, seeing how they, they fit on each other, um, you will learn how layering and opacity works in a really fun way. I can. And I think this is a really nice one, uh, Said, when we've solved it before, when you use the uh, match width and match height, which isn't yeah. a feature that a lot of people know about. Um, but that is one way that you can get all of your elements the same size and layer them over. Do you want to show them, Said? 
Do we have 10, 10 seconds left? Um, yep. Then Daniel, D Daniel, if I can grab the red, the red one, just you, you did a great job, but I have to destroy it. So imagine if the, the originally they were like this and one was a little bit, I grab all three of them. And then I use this feature, which is resize and then like match width. So at least they are all the same size and then align horizontally, align vertically. I group them, put them here and then they snap into place. You can see the blue lines here. They are and done. But of course I've done it like uh, 27 times. Yes, you have, we both have, but yeah, um, the, 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 go ahead. Lucy. I was just going to let you know that, uh, the doors are unlocked. Oh, the, do the doors are okay. Uh, then last words on, on this one, the, um, Please stop moving the door around, Daniel. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, I, I will I will remove the uh, the door. And here we go. Um, I think the um, the the lesson for a lot of of the things we are showing is just there are multiple ways to do things. There are hard ways and there are easy ways. And if you know all the tips and tricks, it will be easier for you. Before we start, you, we start on my side. Um, let's, um, okay, we'll we move on to the one with the colors and we are watching any for uh, a minute. Another riddle, this time it's about creativity and it's also three <laughs> letters we have to find. And also Daniel does not listen to me when I say we start on my sign, just start the game. <laughs> and whenever you are done, um, we will see. So there are three letters hidden in this. And this one is, I hope it's a little bit more tricky than the first one. So there are different levels of difficulty. Some are really easy. Um, Daniel gave, gave a session today earlier where he showed one or two tricks which would help him to solve um, these um, rooms we're going through. So I hope he remembers his own hacks he shared with the audience. Okay, and let's just switch and see what Daniel is doing. Daniel is lost so far. Okay. Ah, uh, so, sorry. Yeah, that's not my thing. First thinking and then trying to solve the problem. I just <laughs> start, but it's a great, great advice, Daniel. So, sorry for interrupting your thinking process. And let's just see what we got on any side. Anybody found any letter yet? Otherwise, we, when we have a minute left, I will just give you a hint to um, get you on the right path. So I did drop a little clue on there. The art is on the walls. We assure you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how Daniel is doing. Oh, Daniel found an A. That's great. If you can see it. Um, under the light blue or greenish brush, he found an A. Yeah, no, uh, I think. <laughs> so, and he found the second letter, which is a T. How is Annie doing? Um, Try to use the yellow brush on the red paint. See what happens, Any. A little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well done. If you, it's uh, if under you could, pressure. It's hard to get these things. Yeah. Done, you know? A lot of eyes on you. Thanks a lot for, for accepting this challenge. You knew it would be uh, tricky and it would be in a, uh, front of a live audience. Yeah, this is how we try to solve problems. Um, I can, we, we have uh, at least a minute left, right? Yes. Okay, then if I, I know uh, 
you are very ambitious, but I can show you on then. Oh, then you got the last letter. Great. Um, I will just uh, give you a quick one through that Daniel has the, um, the solution. Here, I just take your brush. Sorry for um, destroying your, your artwork. I take one of the brush, brushes and then you see, oh, we have your letter that's hidden and I can only see it if I put the brush over it or in this case under it and then go through the rest where it doesn't work and here it doesn't work also and like this. And then I have the uh, spray can and if I go here, I can see the R. But if I go here, I cannot see the previous letter. And if I go here, I can also not see the previous letter. So each of these brushes all only reveals one of the letters. It's like this and like this, if you can see it on my screen. And the whole trick behind it is um, layering. And it's a lot of layering. And it, it can be complicated. But once it's done, um, the effects are really, really cool. And you can hide stuff on your board and create something that's not even a game. You can create something that's useful or whatever you can come up with. Uh, so I will give Daniel his solution back. And the last one would be just for any, the last one would be this one. There it is. Great. Um, should we move on? But I cannot see a door. Where is it? We cannot move. Lucy, we forgot the door. Oh my God. And there it is. And I, I forgot. There it is. We created a slide and a letter for you. So please climb up or slide down, depending on which floor you are, to the next room and wait for my instructions. This is especially for Daniel. Wait for my instructions until you, uh, before you start. Okay, we, are, are we all in the dream room? Any is there? Okay. And the instruction for this game, I will just zoom a little bit closer, is um, you have to find letters again. And when you found them, you will collaborate on this. So each of you will have his or her own part. And as soon as you got the codes ready, we will see if we can open the door to the next level. At the moment, it's closed. I cannot do anything. But hopefully you will get the code right and on the count of three one two three go ahead i feel guilty because i, I feel like i have more fun than daniel and any have at the moment well, i'm not sure we told them they had to pretend <laughs> to have fun so they're definitely having yeah. fun right <laughs> otherwise please lie to us it's it's totally Give us it's some totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this. Okay. We can see, I can see Daniel at least clicking on the blue arrows and stuff happens. His display moves around. Probably this could be part of the solution. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. If you need any assist, just let me know. I don't know. I think it looks like they got it really nicely and he's on a roll. Yeah, it's, it's not as I imagine it, it but, doing it, though. but but She's but, doing but it. She, she she will get the solution yeah she will get the solution okay um yeah it, it's another showcase of there are different ways of solving the same problem and that's one i haven't thought of and now it was really beautiful because we did do a user test <laughs> and we did two of them on the boards and and it is it's really eye-opening just to see how different people approach different problems and what's easy for some is not easy for others and i have never seen anyone doing what annie's doing but i love yeah. what annie is doing she's got it right this is correct she, <laughs> and she's actually definitely... very efficient and we'll explain why in a moment <laughs> yeah it was it's easier than the original thought of how it could can be solved and for oh, we have oh, 10 seconds left, I will give Daniel the hint. If you start with the yellow one and press on the link to so start with the R, press on the link to see where it leads you. 
Okay. And then click on click on it again. Click on the link to again and see where it leads you. That would be the hint. Otherwise, I will when I when I share with you the solution, um, I think um, you will get it. Oh. Great. Okay. Um, then just leave it as it is, Daniel. This is, is totally uh, it's totally fine. Um, this and is your applause. This is your applause. applause. The f Go ahead, uh, Lucy. I will take a sip. Out I'm, gonna, of my... I'm just going to suggest keep it moving on time. That's uh, all the timekeeper in the back is going to say. Um, but we do have a, a special. Would you like to give a few notes on this part side before we have the grand reveal? E yeah, I, I will. I'll just reveal it. It's very simple. We use the link to feature, which is you can link objects to to each other. And in my head, this was the perfect solution. I will click on this one because it's a starting point, click on the little arrow, and then it leads me here and I will put an R in it. And then I go back to the next one and it is the U and I click and it says the U. And as you can see, the object that's linked to is always centered. So I don't have to look for it. And it's the I and it's here. And as soon as I'm done, and the J, but I like, uh, I like any solution much better. It's more, I forgot which letter it was. Uh, more visual. <laughs> it's a lot of stars around Neptune. It, 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 it's an E. I will, I will be done in a second. Uh, no. No, I, I think I didn't get it because I was talking and trying to solve the thing. Uh, it's correct. Right. Ju okay, Jup it's Jupiter correct. and Nep and Neptune. I, I, I really like the solution of, of any. Well done. You got it. Bravo. Um, yeah Absolutely. and no and no um the the door was locked um any if you would be so kind zoom out a little bit from the board so that we can see a little bit more let me bring you back that's fine and now you can just try to slide up the door move the clouds to to the heavens and see what happens that works too absolutely that, that, that also works great <laughs> Very, very, very well done. Thank, thanks a lot. Um, moving on, moving we will on. have time at the end if there are any questions or curiosity on the single games. We don't reveal everything. And now we will enter uh, what we think is the last room and the exit. And again, we have two links for one of, for each of our participants. Please do not start until I give you the sign. Any, I can see your screen. Remember. <laughs> and when we click on on our screens, we can see. A lot of kitty cats. <laughs> you. And now um, we have two tasks. You can just uh, start Daniel and Annie, and I will just make the voiceover. Uh, we have two tasks, one for each of you. At the top floor, we have Annie, who is looking for a cat named Whiskers. And Whiskers <laughs> will be the door opener. And for Daniel, it will be a cat named Hello Kitty. It's a cat that named that is named Hello Kitty, and there's a cat that is named Whiskers for any. And as soon as they find it and put it on the doormat, as the instructions say, probably the door will open. And while while uh, our two heroes are solving this, um, just asking for for the people in the audience and the chat, um, how challenging did you find these? Um, rooms and riddles so far do you think you would have solved them from uh, what you saw uh, so long uh, uh, so far yeah. we, we, before i explained kind of what the solution is okay pushing cats around I, as a cat owner i don't like it but <laughs> but it's still a great way to start just push things around let's see Annie is pushing cats around. Annie's done it. Has Annie, Annie done it? Annie, no, Annie hasn't done it, actually. I no, Sorry, Annie, Annie that no, was a false start. <laughs> no, and, and Annie hasn't done it. And let's see if Daniel is up to something. You know, Daniel, I gave you the compliment that you, you literally showed us today the perfect solution for this game. It was not a game in your case, but there is a very simple solution to find Hello Kitty in your room. <laughs> and one minute left. 
I think Daniel has too much fun just stacking the cat. Oh, Annie, we got it. Did we find it? Um, I'm not 100% sure. But... <laughs> And we got we got a cat trapped in the door. Yeah, we're in the door. <laughs> what do you think about that this? for uh, a cat cat lo as a cat lover, Saeed? I think that's not fun to any cat at all. Um, okay, right. we have thirty People. seconds left in in this room, and we have a beheaded cat, which is also fine. What was really nice about this was when we did the beta test, um, we did have uh, somebody suggest that perhaps as our thanks for the, you know, the beta testers giving their, their, their time, we should uh, add, you know, give these cats names uh, according to the cats of our beta testers or the children, as well as one case. Um, so we will find that uh, some of these, we, they have the names of our beta tester cats, which was really nice. And so you... I think... It's... Cats also. Have we got... Oh. Yeah, we have... We have Amal and Amir somewhere. Um, I think Daniel has the solution and he got the right cat. And yeah, pushing around things wasn't uh, the solution for this one. But maybe if you play the other uh, rooms, one can think yeah, I move things around and um, it could help. In this case, um, the, the, the lesson and learning is um, you can name every image you add to a mirror board. When you edit, you can it has a name, you can see it. When I click once on it, it shows the name. It's Houdini and it's um, Heathcliff and all, and, um, and all other famous cats. But you can either click on all of them and look if you can find the right one, or you can use the magnifying glass at the top and just look for, let's um, look for Whiskers on Annie's floor. Whis there he is, Whiskers PNG, found him. Here, there he is, and I will just move him to the door, and there he is. And what, what you can also do is, of course, you can rename them directly in Miro. So I can rename it to something different, which is uh, that's how all my documents are, uh, are named ASD, ASD, ASD. Um, or you can use Control F to just find anything on the board. So the important thing is when you have a lot of images and objects on your board, just name them correctly, and then it will be easy to find them, even if they are not cats. Could be anything else. Ooh. Okay, um, door is locked again. Door is unlocked. We are, we we are moving. Uh, this would normally maybe take like 90 minutes to be a really fun and enjoyable game, but we only have 50. So moving on, yep. um, I will open the doors, of course, so we can move on to the next. Before you start, wait for my instructions. This is important. I can see your screen, Daniel. Please stop cheating. Um, again, we have to find a code, each of you, but without moving the letters out from where they are right that's what the instructions say you can move them but we would appreciate if you don't move them so just limiting uh, limiting it a little bit exactly daniel thanks for sharing and i'm going to place a timer for two minutes this time so okay oh it's a it's a faster one let's up the tempo okay let's see i have both on screen you can just start we have a lot, um, I will, of course, sh share it in a little bit bigger screen in a moment, but now we have the comparison and see what they come up with. We have a six letter code in each room. It's the same code, but the solution might be a little bit tricky. And the only thing you need to solve it is basic mirror features. We hmm. haven't invented anything. You can see our two uh, friends haven't used any, the toolbar at any time. They only use the objects that's already there and then really, really, really basic um, features in combined ways or in different ways than you usually use them when you create a board or when you collaborate. Um, okay, let's see. We, oh, I can see Daniel is doing something that looks like mm. he could be up to something. Okay, let's let's watch him uh, solving the, the last one. And maybe if while we wait so for that, I'm just wondering if maybe Dave wants to give us some of the answers from uh, the last question, which is yeah. challenging rooms and how how challenging you found the, the puzzle so far. What's the general consensus, Dave?
Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize, everybody. Uh, I get the I get the messages in my chat. So let me just yeah. read them and read them and say it'll keep going. And you can watch Daniel. Thanks for doing it in slow motion. You can see he is rotating something. I don't want to give any hints, but no, I've given it. And Daniel has the solution. And I will yeah. just switch to any for a, for a second. I can just give a hint if you like to any. If you don't like to, just let me know. Just select the fruit in the middle and rotate. Rotate the whole thing. Yes, correctly. And correctly. Until it's the right way around so that they all look this all fruits look the same. Correctly. Okay. And if you push it back to its original place, it should reveal something. And the same applies to the other ones. And I will show the clean solution as I thought would be the best one um, in a minute. Lucy, do you have something to share with us? Yes, the, well, I checked the chat. Um, there are a lot of really great questions which we can uh, answer at the end if there is time. Really good ones. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. There was nothing about complexity. So uh, I think uh, it's a, it, we can move on from that one. But if anybody wants to pass on comments about how you found the puzzles, you can either do that in the chat or we will send on like a takeaway board at the end where you can drop your feedback on the um, on the puzzles uh, at the end. Um, but for just now, Saeed, I'm going to uh, time check us again. I think uh, there is another uh, there is another uh, instance of us not having a door. How will we solve this? Because we have now unlocked the door, no? We will not show the solution to this one, but it's it's just rot rotation. We will come back, back to it later if we have the time. There's a matching question. I apologize, Saeed. I didn't mean to rush you through. I thought you had shown them the answer. You no, I will them the answer. Please continue. Sorry. We, really quickly, if you saw it on, on Daniel's screen, these are groups of sticky notes and images. And if you have a group of sticky notes, you can rotate them and the letters stay the right way the whole time. So they don't flip or anything. And if you use layering again, we heard about layering things uh, multiple times today. You can see it unveils and reveals. And if they all face the same direction, you have some letters and then putting them into the right fields is um, the easiest part of it, right? Okay, then we will move on to the next room. Um, great, so, sorry for, for rushing guys, but um, time is precious. Oh, uh, we can do, can we do this again, please, uh, Lucy? Um, <laughs> just... Okay. I think thanks, that is thanks my favorite sound. I think you need to keep the, that on the soundboard. Yeah, I, I will for the next Zoom call. We move on to the final room. We had six rooms and this is the final one. It's an Arcadium Plus. Please do not start until I give you the uh, sign. Um, and uh, Lucy has set up the timer and I have put the according. Uh, ready, Lucy? Can we start the timer? Ready? On, done. On you go, folks. Okay, I, Enjoy. I insert the coin. Now this is again a collaboration room where both together have to solve the code. Oh, I need to prepare for this. Oh, Daniel found a cat. That's cute. <laughs> so, sorry for laughing about my own jokes, but somebody has to, right? I always laugh and at your you, jokes, Saeed. You make me laugh yeah. a lot. There's you are a lot just, of laughs in this process. You are just polite. Okay. <laughs> I am a little. <laughs> but you do genuinely make me laugh. And I love your puzzles. So let's see if they can solve these ones. So we are watching Daniel um, trying out a lot. And we also have any on the green slot machine. Yeah. And just as an unqualified um, hint, there are three. So maybe the blue one is just for decoration. Try another one, Daniel. There is a red herring. Yeah, there's. I learned the word red herring, which is like clues that look like clues, but 
aren't actually um, clues. So, um, of course, the, the rooms wouldn't be like two or three minutes in real time, and there would also be collaboration, as um, Lucy said in the beginning, but it's also a fun way to experience it in this way and having a little bit of time pressure and seeing the solutions people can. I think Annie might be getting up. one. Want to zoom in oh, on Annie? Oh, I, don't know I, I, I am something. zoomed. I, I'm zoomed in. I also thought, okay, this could be something, but it wasn't. And if, if at any time weird things happen, you can just press Control Z to make things yeah. unhappen. And I think in a real experience, you can also use really nice features in, in Miro. For example, the video chat uh, feature, which is where you can actually call people on the board. So you could replicate that experience of a real escape room where they call you with okay. clues if, uh, if if you need more help. Um, I think yeah. I look forward to, to dipping into those features in the future. Daniel's playing with the cat again. Okay, we got like half a minute left. And I will definitely show the, uh, I think we need a, a copy and paste of, uh, of you know which one, Lucy, in a minute. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. I'm not sure if it's... In case you need it. Okay. Just in case. This one's my and, favorite one, I think. Yeah, 15 more seconds. And the features that are used for these are very simple. When you see them, you will notice them. Even, uh, not even, sorry, that sounded bad. I mean, also, Daniel and Annie, when you see, oh, oh, yeah. I, I got something, I got something great. Last, last <laughs> second, Daniel, really last second. Uh, probably um, we didn't catch what you did, but we will show it in a second. I will just move back to my screen and we'll just demonstrate what the solution is. Um, meanwhile, if you like, I can see a blue window. This is probably something. Okay, because we have we have the whole hotel done, um, just um, share with us which of uh, uh, the the rooms, which of the visual experiences did you like the most so far, so which was the most appealing or fun to watch. Um, share with us in the chat. We will go through questions and remarks in a minute. I will start with the left one. You can see my screen. The magic is in double clicking. If I double click on this one, okay, and then I click again, you can see I put a mask over them and I can just move them from <laughs> top to down. I will show it slowly in a second. And Evil. then, <laughs> oh, no, of course, no, you got it, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel is uh, so solving it. If you just, and I can also change the mask to a circle, for example, you can see it when I move it here. Now it's a circle or I can make it, a, I don't know, a square, for example. Whatever image you have, you can add a mask to it, so it's automatically cropped, uh, cropped, and the rest of the image is still on the board. And that's everything we did with this riddle, but you have still have to know how it works, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, that it's actually out of this room. And the second one is, um, I will zoom in, you can see my screen, right? And it was actually, it was like this, so it was cryptic code. But if you select multiple objects on the mirror board, this little thing, if you can see it, this little thing at the top right appears, which is called um, Smart Align. And you just have to hold it and drag it, and the objects will be aligned perfectly with all the same margins and the same um, paddings. And in this case, <laughs> it will, if you stop at the right moment, it will say Arc, and the other one says Aid. And if you put them together, um, they would say arcade, but we uh, time was over, so uh, just put him put him in 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 the blue uh, in the in the green yeah. keypad things, and it will show the whole solution, which is arcade. That's it. And then Daniel, if uh, I, let me just um, let me just uh, focus on. Daniel, Daniel, if you would be so kind and just do what it says and rotate the safe door and see what happens. Yeah, in slow motion. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> door is open, which was locked before. And if we, if, when we zoom in a little bit, we can see that there is an eject button. And again, the blue 
little error. You did it, everybody. We, 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 we learned how they work and, of course, at last. Amazing. Welcome back. Congratulations. You did it. Thanks so much, um, Annie and Daniel. Uh, they were really good sports, I think, in the North normal escape room so we appreciate you um, working under pressure and great narration from Saeed uh, underneath here in the traditional format of a, of a breakout hotel you would uh, you would have your photo opportunity correct so please do make up a little photograph to celebrate your um, your escape from breakout hotel and I think uh, Saeed and I will move along a little bit to our very final screen because we have, Saeed, just to time check, it's uh, we have four minutes left. Yeah. So I'm going to move us over there while Annie and Daniel make up their celebration screen already for them. And uh, Saeed, I'm going to pass it back over to you. How did you enjoy the experience? Um I, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm still saying I think I had more fun than players, <laughs> which is unfair. <laughs> but, I, but I had a lot of, just a lot of fun watching um, the uh, Annie and Daniel playing it for the first time. It's, it's yeah, you, you can see that um, they came up with different solutions than I thought. So um, there are always a lot of ways to do things that I haven't thought about. Um, and I'm not as clever as I thought. That's my, uh, um, my, my whole thing. Yeah, and um, it was so much work we put into it, so much design. If I zoom out into the whole thing, uh, weeks of, of work and fine tuning and collaborating and chatting and meetings and uh, errors and frustration. But um, it worked out really, really great. I wish we would have like two hours to play the whole game and to invite everybody in the audience to play with us. But unfortunately, we cannot play this with a thousand people simultaneously. But segue back to you. We hope you can do this in the future because we are we have a lot of more riddles left we have a lot of more design ideas left um, to create collaborative games in the same way right uh, lucy that's absolutely right said um this was as we said this was an experiment this you you consider it the very 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 first iteration we can maybe call it version 1.1 1. 1.0 uh, 1. was pre-beta testing but um we had a lot of fun making this and uh, we'd love to see how it works with actual teams using it so um, maybe dave could drop in the chat we've got some links we're going to send over if you are interested in trying out these escape games uh, in the future uh, please register your interest via the form um, or you can scan the qr code on your screen right now we'll also drop in our linkedin uh, profiles uh, so you can join us and we would of course like to say a very very big thank you to um, annie and daniel for joining us today um doing doing the the escape adventure you've been wonderful so we're going to drop their uh, linkedins in there too and um and i'd like to say you know having looked at this board for like three weeks <laughs> you would you would think i would be uh it would be uh, pretty stale with it um but that was really wonderful to actually see it, it come to life and um I think there are so many ways you could take collaboration and play in Miro, not just escape rooms. There's there's board games. There are many other ideas that you can use to adapt learning and play and working together into more visual and experiential formats. So I think more, more of that to see and to come in future. Um, Saeed, shall I pass it back over to you for some closing remarks? Yeah, um if you like to, to everybody who's watching, just uh, give a big round of virtual applause to um, Annie and Daniel who accepted this challenge um, uh, and just being brave and not knowing what to expect and doing this in front of a live audience, which is, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, sorry, Annie, if you invited yeah, me to something like this. I said, no, I, no, I can't. <laughs> my, <laughs> I have to visit my grandmother or something. So thanks a lot. Um, it was a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, and. Of course, we will come back to all the, the uh, questions in the chat. They are still there. Um, uh, so sorry if you didn't get any of them. Um, but it's um, time flies. 15 minutes are not that long, and we even rushed through it. Yeah, I had a lot of fun, um, and I'm happy yes. I made it through through the whole escape game. So Me also. Not, yeah, we made nothing it. Nothing more to add. F please follow Lucy on, on LinkedIn connect with me if you like um, to learn more about what we do and who we are um, feel free to reach out to us um, 
thanks a lot and go and watch Annie's and Daniel's um, yes. sessions they already ha they already had theirs I think um, look for them and watch them Daniel shared mm -hmm. a lot of tricks um, any the same if you are into project management great follow absolutely thanks a lot. yeah thank you what an experience and I would just say and cut but I think we are still live yeah, we've got two minutes over the, over the last mark, but um, I guess I will take this to say thank you to you, Saeed, and I really mean it. This has been such a beautiful first project working together. You have been uplifting, even in the face of challenges and uh, and <laughs> at some points on my part, I would have to say, after all of the distributed boards that that were designed, I was pretty tired when I, when I came to this project and having to pull it all up, but you have kept me energized all the way through. So... Thank you for being you. The world needs more people like you in it. Th th thanks a lot. It's, it's always fun. And every, yeah, um, I just thought sometimes I had the easy part because all of the designs and all of the graphics and, and everything that gives this whole thing life came from you. So thanks a lot for uh, putting so much time and, and love into well, it. all the details. I'm close to crying, but I will not. I promise myself well, not to cry. I think everybody should know in the last 30 seconds uh, that Saeed came to me with, uh, I don't know how many puzzles you already have, Saeed. I mean, you say you could a come lot. hundreds, <laughs> and I believe you, but you did come with, I don't know, I want to say a good 50. And we had to whittle it down and choose um, the fact that you could come up with so many and that you gifted it to this project was awesome uh so yeah watch this space for more more puzzles and games in mural that you can actually the, touch and get your hands on but the, enjoy the rest the, of uh, distributed everyone thank you for yeah. being here enjoy distributed stay creative bye 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 can we have some more cats